Okay, let's get started. Uh, very warm welcome everybody on a Sunday afternoon. Glad you guys could make time for this session. It's going to be a very interesting one. Uh, today, uh, we have a, a repeat, by, you know, backed by popular demand session on, uh, if you are an aspiring digital marketer, what are some of the top questions on your mind? It's a free open, ask me anything kind of a session where we will be covering questions uh, ranging from you know uh, different roles and responsibilities in digital marketing all the way to how do you prepare for one and what kind of a career growth you can expect in this very exciting domain uh, without further ado i'll get into the agenda for the day we will be covering uh, after i introduce our esteemed speaker today like i said these are some of the broad topics that we will be covering uh, especially focusing on people who want to transition into this domain. Either you guys have just recently graduated or also have a little bit of experience in the industry, whether it is sales or copywriting or graphic design and industrial marketing as a career. So that's the agenda for the day. We will take questions. Uh, please start putting your questions on the chat box and uh, we will pick them up as in when we are covering that particular uh, topic and also at the end of the session anything that is in this dot i'll try and cover them as well uh, in the meanwhile request you all to stay on mute uh, do turn on your videos though uh, Deeraj uh, has requested everyone to turn on their cameras so that it's a more engaging session uh, and if you guys have a question please put it in the chat box all right uh, so welcome a very very warm welcome to uh, uh, Dheeraj Tukral, he is the speaker on our session today. Uh, a little bit about Dheeraj, he is a, a very passionate digital marketer with uh, more than six years of experience across a variety of uh, you know, sub-domains within digital marketing. Uh, interesting thing is he's worked on multiple sides of the table, right? What I mean by that is he's worked with brand agencies, uh, which you know, run digital marketing projects and campaigns for uh, different brands. So he's worked at entities like the Brand B and Envigo. He's also worked at B2C or business to consumer startups like SafeMetrip and currently at Edu91. And also has exposure by working at, at, on the B2B side uh, at Quantify. Uh, like I said, Deeraj is a full stack digital marketer, folks. He has donned many hats, strategist, designer, account manager, and of course, as a marketer, uh, his passion lies in solving complex marketing problems. Uh, he brings with him a deep interest in uh, consumer or customer psychology and behavior, especially in this new digital era. Deeraj uh, is a class of uh, 2020 from the Indian School of Business and also has a BBA from uh, uh, Bit Mesra and also a graduate from the Digital Marketing Institute at Ireland. Uh, so a lot of uh, strong pedigree backed with really good experience. So welcome, Dheeraj. Uh, we're glad to have you here. Thank you, Ram. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be back again. I was not expecting, uh, you know, uh, a repeat session, but I think last time the response was really good. And I hope that I, you know, answer as many questions as possible in the limited time that we have. Definitely. All right, guys. So let's get started. I will start with uh, some questions. In the meanwhile, I'll start picking up uh, questions from the audience as well. Uh, cool. Uh, so Dheeraj, if I had to start this conversation, right? Uh, within digital marketing, how has this industry evolved over the years? Uh, where do you see it? Uh, where was it five years back? Where is it now and what do you see happening in the next few years? <laughs> Guys, uh, request you to please stay on mute. All Thank right. <clears throat> yeah. So just about five years back, 10 years back, we did not have, you know, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I, around 10 years back, the maximum internet speed that I had was 10 Mbps, 5 Mbps, 4 mm. Mbps. And we did not have any concept of 4G. We did not even have 3G working properly. We were stuck around 2G and 
basically digital was just growing and it was in a very nascent stage it was like a baby trying to you know crawl i won't even say walk it was trying to crawl uh in a massive country like india where we have a population of 1.2 billion people and 650 million mobile users as of today as of today so uh, obviously uh, when we talk about digital marketing channels like facebook instagram linkedin twitter they were very hesitant in investing in india very 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 hesitant because we did not have the right infrastructure we did not have the right kind of talent we did not have the right attitude and approach towards digital in general right so people were getting used to you know they were they were buying a lot of laptops they were buying they were uh, smartphones were just recently launched and you know everybody the craze was there but it was still not as evolved as we have today so that's why anything that you used to do 10 years back let's say you make a video on youtube it was sure to get views 100% hmm. it would get views granted ga matlab gande se ganda video bana do you make uh, you know you don't have a tripod don't have lighting doesn't matter you make a video upload it because the internet connection speeds were so poor you will start registering views because the competition was very less hardly any creators were there even the most popular creators that we know right now on youtube kari minati ashish chanchlani all these people they started their career from 2015 2016 so even so you can say that digital marketing was in fact you know uh, it came in its original form 5 years back we are looking at an industry which is brand new it's shining mm. right but the good thing or probably i would say both uh, you know two sides of the same coin a lot of people entered which also resulted in a lot of competition right now everybody knows ki if you want to promote your brand you have to go to youtube everybody knows that if you want to get a job you have to go to linkedin everybody knows that if you want to you know run ads you have to go to facebook there is nothing new a lot of people lot of creators on youtube are trying to tell you that there is a lot of things which are new in this there is nothing new the fundamentals the ecosystem the way people behave and interact with you the you know the trust building process everything is same as it was 5 years back but what has changed is how are you able to communicate now a lot mm. of people are insisting on that i need to learn facebook ads i need to learn google ads i need to learn linkedin ads i need to learn this and the entire emphasis has been focused on tools wrong approach instead right. nobody talks about ideas nobody talks about creativity nobody talks about video editing for that matter nobody talks about the you know the soft the soft skills part of it everybody wants to go and learn the hard skills but if you are only learning hard skills it is pretty much useless because what's the point of learning it if you are not able to create banners or if you are not able to make videos or if you are not able to convince people no matter how good a website you make in today's time if it is not delivering the right message if it is not giving you the right impression if it is not solving a particular problem uh, you are just wasting your money and that is what most of the people are doing these days 90% of the people they start digital marketing with a lot of enthusiasm one year later they realize it's not for them they quit it i have seen it happening with my own eyes so mm. this is how the industry has changed the tools are the same maybe some evolvements have happened some advanced features have come into place but the basic fundamentals of digital marketing are the same in fact you now have more opportunity because more and more people are getting mobile phones in their hands more and more people are buying laptops more and more people are buying ipads and desktops and all these things the demand is only going to go up it's not going to go down but with the rising demand there is also a component of rising competition and with rising competition you have to be smart enough in capturing users attention and how you can utilize that into sales or leads or business actions basically that's the biggest challenge the biggest challenge is not to learn tools in fact learning tools is not even a challenge anymore there is umpteen amount of information available right so that is how i believe it has changed well that's that's a really interesting point and basically you're saying that while things have evolved significantly it also has led to us going back to our in some sense the foundations of knowing how to reach our target audience in right. a more innovative way right uh, even though there are multiple tools on one side which is a more or less an hygiene factor now to know but it's the fundamentals and the 
the approach with which we are reach out to this new audience is what is equally or if not more important now correct got it uh, it's interesting time to run a poll i think uh, uh, neeraj uh, yep. so guys i am going to start a poll you will see a pop up on your screen uh, take a few seconds not a very simple poll uh, on you know uh, you will see the questions it's not uh, difficult take a few seconds and give your answers here we go okay question is how many likes are given on facebook every minute okay last few seconds guys all right we got almost everybody has voted 85% have voted couple of seconds and then we can see the results and then dheeraj let us know your thoughts yeah all right okay 34% of the audience says this is what 10 million or yeah 10 million yeah yeah uh may uh, likes every minute uh well the right right answer i mean it's it will get there i guess <laughs> uh, eventually it will it will yes so the right answer guys is 4 million plus uh as of today uh so this itself shows the power of you know how to engage with your audience right right i don't know if you guys have i uh, how many of you like browse facebook on a regular basis has have you noticed any shift from facebook to probably let's say instagram and then back to facebook again i have seen this shift where i was on facebook and uh, suddenly instagram came along instagram became very popular then i went back to inst- then i went to instagram but now suddenly i am being pulled back on facebook because there are some features like short videos and gaming and streaming and you know marketplace and a lot of these things facebook actually wants people to come back to facebook instead of going to instagram <laughs> right so i don't know if you guys have probably experienced this yourself i have experienced this i am now spending more time on facebook initially let's say about till about last year i was spending more time on instagram but facebook will remain the core i mean there is no beating there is no you know question about whether instagram will overtake facebook one day i i i highly doubt that because instagram ultimately was an acquired company facebook mm. is the brain child of facebook itself so there is no way that they are going to <laughs> give so many features to instagram that they leave facebook behind anyway so yeah 40 lakhs is the answer correct cool uh, so we have some good questions coming in uh, so shubham has a question i have more than 9 years of sales and marketing experience i have looked into social media campaigns too but how should i enhance my portfolio okay Nine years of sales and marketing experience. He has looked into social media campaigns, how to enhance his portfolio. Okay, Shubham. See, I think a lot of times what people do is they think that now that they have experience, the only thing that they need to be working on is portfolio. कि मेरा portfolio होगा, so the leads will come back to me automatically. That it's it's not how it works anymore. It's not how it works anymore. See the. essence of marketing agar aapko sach mein marketing mein ghusna hai if you really want to be inside marketing you always have to talk 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 be vocal and the best place to be vocal is linkedin instagram youtube three places where the more you talk the more you create content the more you engage automatically leads will come you know in my experience see i have about 5 years of experience but when i was starting i had zero years of experience but i was still getting freelance clients why because see it's not just about portfolio anymore even portfolios are so are in such high competition that it is difficult for any client to to say and analyze okay ki theek hai matlab this guy is also doing the same stuff that guy is also doing the same stuff i told you right high competition your portfolio is not the differentiator anymore you are if you don't make videos on youtube if you don't talk to people and give them free gyan if you don't communicate on a regular basis if you don't have an audience base if you don't have people who are looking up to you if you don't regularly publish content on linkedin and get you know people to engage with on it or if you don't create videos on youtube 
if you don't attend virtual conferences if you don't attend workshops if you don't talk to people in your network let's say your colleagues if you can ask your colleagues if somebody in their family is looking for a digital marketing provider or something like that if you're not proactive in all this building a portfolio is not going to give you anything substantial because portfolios have become outdated now personal branding is the way to go you are the company you are the brand people are more likely to trust you the fact that we have 80 people on this webinar came because of me i never showed my portfolio i only showed okay here's how i worked but i never said that you know you never you don't know about the quality of the work you have just seen the credentials but if you see my youtube channel if you engage and interact with me even if i'm able to show you my post three times on linkedin and if you really start begin to if you really begin trusting me nobody is going to ask for your portfolio they're just going to hire you anyway i have i have had multiple instances where nobody asked for my portfolio they said we liked what you do we we understand what your intention is just give us the portfolio i mean just give us the uh, quotation we'll start so number of ex- number of years of experience of uh, what brands you have worked on what kind of results you have done see all these things according to indian clients can be made up i am giving you very honest opinion these things can be made up people think that ye apna be bana raha hai there is not a single differentiating factor in these things anymore company ke dex log phenk dete hain yaar utha ke koi nahi dekhta everybody is looking for person everybody is looking for how vocal you are everybody is looking at your personality everybody is looking at your content your content is your portfolio is what i want to emphasize on i hope i was able to answer this got it no i think that's a very fair point i think i mean especially in today's world where a lot of the jobs are anyways getting automated right and right. especially in digital marketing where there is a certain creative element which is very important showcasing your own <clears throat> creativity becomes a lot more important uh, to succeed that's the uh, biggest differentiator correct no deck no ppt no pdf files no you know free consultation calls all those things are the things of the past like yesterday only i ha- one of my post hit 25000 views and there was this guy from california he was working on a mobile app he just con- he just contacted me and he said i like your content can we talk i want to promote an app mm-hmm. no portfolio nothing he liked the content he wanted to talk then it's up to you how do you convince them but it's important to get leads like this because these kind of leads they already come with a position of trust for you to convert them it becomes very easier but to reach out to random people cold calling all these things it becomes very difficult to convert them and get them on board got it uh priya's question is on similar lines but slightly different she has 5 plus years experience uh, between uh, business analyst electrical profile and project coordination uh, how digital marketing is beneficial for me and of course what salary i can expect because in digital marketing she will be considered as a fresher right if you have some sort of sales experience some sort of even offline experience you are not entirely a fresher for this field any kind of related or overlapping field if you belong from that field you are not a fresher but if you don't have any like for example she says that i am an electrical engineer digital marketing folks are simply going to ignore that for them it's no experience because electrical engineering digital marketing north pole south pole no match so she is asking how it can help her see uh, if you are just looking for jobs i would say it's a myopic view because jobs you know it's very subjective to get a job it's because it depends on your recruiter it depends on your boss it depends on the company it depends on the kind of company you are joining it depends on a whole lot of things right Correct. that is a myopic view in my sense because this knowledge can give you results beyond a job you need to be thinking now i am not trying to be that kind of youtuber ki 1 lakh rupaye kama loge see i don't have any substantial <laughs> proof to give you so i am not going to give you all that fluff and nonsense that they you know promote on youtube ki affiliate marketing kar lo 1 lakh kama lo right that is just to sell you their courses that is just to you know push you their courses so that you buy and then they just say tata bye bye ho gaya mera ab tum khud dekh lena so giving you a practical from a very practical standpoint if you are able to really learn this knowledge and then apply it in your own brand my own my only advice to people who ask questions like this is to apply it within your own brand your name is your brand 
you can create a linkedin profile you can start creating posts you can start creating videos you can start creating content on facebook you can open your own blog you can write a lot of good articles over there if you are consistent and persistent opportunities will come your way like it had come in my case if i were thinking that okay now i am a graduate from digital marketing institute and now i should i must get a job otherwise i have no future is again a myopic view i was lucky that i was able to get a job but even if i did not had have a job i would have utilized that knowledge and you know implemented it in building my own brand that is why i opened dheeraj rakhu channel it has about 900 subscribers even though it has less number of subscribers i have two influencer marketing agencies saying we still want to work with you 900 mm-hmm. subscribers means nothing in today's world yet they are saying we want to work with you why because of those 900 people i am able to actually create that kind of content create that kind of trust that these influencer marketing agencies have seen it with their own eyes and now they are saying even though he has less number of subscribers we are still going to invest in him and that's how it works right numbers don't add up i have 5000 followers on linkedin yet my number of views are very less still i am getting leads why because numbers if you just look at numbers you will never be able to create content the whole point of di- learning digital marketing is a to get a job b if you are unable to get a job somehow utilize that knowledge to work in your favor you can open a digital marketing agency you can get freelance consultancy clients you can uh, open your channel on youtube start making revenue from there you have brand deals you have endorsements you have merchandise you have sponsorships you can go to many different websites b2b and b2c websites and say that hey i can promote your brand for x percent commission that is affiliate marketing there are multiple avenues there are multiple channels but you need to work on two things number one being vocal all the time keep sharing knowledge keep communicating keep creating content never stop number two in, you know invest in your personality language skills communication skills video editing skills soft skills the moment you start to continually invest in yourself the moment you start to continually create content and the moment you start engaging with people on social media audience will pour in people will come automatically they will start trusting you they will start asking questions they will start believing you as an expert in your field and leads and sales will be you know your matlab baaye haath ka khel ho jayega it won't be like such a big problem that we feel right now that's how Correct. it has been in my case i get a lot of leads on linkedin just because i keep making content i don't go i don't do any outreach i don't do any kind of cold calling i don't call my friends and all that when you're in a position of trust people come automatically they're ready to throw money at you and you deliver results you get more money that's how it works got it uh i think uh we have a question from ankush here i am a content creator and how can digital marketing help me in growing my business content creation makes content creation is a business in itself content creation ki to industry ban gayi hai ab you guys have heard about abhi and new in 6 months they were able to get 10 million 1 million followers simply because and none of their content is original it is purely based on research it is purely a repurposed content but it is presented in such a way that it appears to you know fascinate people and you know bring people towards them in 6 months if i were to calculate their earnings it would well exceed 50 lakhs minimum i am saying the kind of growth that they have experienced and they have left their jobs full time they are not working anywhere content creation is their business they have two influencer marketing agencies monkey and one more agency that brings them work to them that brings work to them they don't have to go anywhere so co- content creation is a kind of industry which really tests you tests your patience tests your commitment tests your expertise tests your problem solving skills and if you really keep investing time keep making videos keep making content keep making blogs keep writing articles over a period of time i mean and when i say over a period of time i mean at least one year you will find opportunities to monetize that content and leave your job although i won't promise that but in many cases i have seen people doing that so uh, content creation is uh, an industry in itself but it's a matter of extreme hard work extreme patience and lot of reengineering and lot of learning and then unlearning and then you know 
continuing that feedback loop got it um uh, let's take a quick uh, you know uh, sense check time for another poll uh, this is something that uh, uh, dheeraj had just talked about at the start of the session so here we go how many people in india will have a smartphone by 2021 i think i already gave the answer <laughs> yeah yeah i'm just the very like, beginning let's see what whether the people are listening to you or not <laughs> yeah all right guys two more seconds doesn't take too much time to click a button all right uh, let's see the results close 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 yeah yeah yes yeah, so the answer is 700 million and i think yeah so most of you have the answer uh, so it's a massive number right i mean so digital as a medium is going to become especially mobile as a medium is going to become extremely important whether you are a content creator or a digital marketer all right uh, moving on uh, somashri has a question uh, sir how web analytics is useful for digital marketing see uh, if digital marketing is a body web analytics is the spine <laughs> it's the spinal cord you see see what's the point of running ads what's the point of making content what's the point of creating videos if you're not able to understand the numbers behind it if you're not able to understand how many people have actually seen that content how many people clicked on it how many people went to the website how many people spent at least 30 seconds how many people watched a video and then as a result of that how many people signed up with you and after that the journey continues wherein you analyze your sales team performance how many people were we able to get on board as a result of that so it's a it's a continuous feedback loop it is super important not to be ignored in any cost in fact without web analytics digital marketing is no different than advertising on tv or radio or newspaper because one of the things which which is, uh, differentiates digital marketing is the fact that you can uh, get data in real time and when you are able to get that data in real time you can make decisions that not only affects your revenue but also affects your costs that affects your salaries that affects your entire business so web analytics as a field in india is still evolving i won't say that it's a very lucrative field or should you really specialize in web analytics at the moment i would say having a generalist approach is likely to give you more returns than having a specialist approach web analytics is indeed an important field but just getting into web analytics is not going to give you the kind of growth that you're expecting not having the skill of web analytics is even worse so you need to know how to read data on google analytics you need to know how to read data on hotjar you need to know how to you know uh, how to tag your campaigns and how to you know all these kind of things you need to know otherwise you will keep burning money on advertising you will keep burning money and your time on creating videos but you will always be in the dark whether or not your things are working or they are not working and believe me when that happens people often quit digital marketing one of the reasons one of the biggest reasons of quitting it is because they don't know how to read the data they are very creative they love you know creating content but they don't know the math behind it they don't know what led to what how did mm. creating a video led to the ultimate result of getting a sale they are not able to understand the entire process and that is where you know 90% i would say 90, 80 to 90% people one of the biggest reasons of quitting is the lack of uh, this very important skill so should you specialize in it definitely will it give you more jobs no it won't where will you find jobs in web analytics big digital marketing agencies anywhere else no uh even in a little medium sized digital marketing agencies you can find a job but it's then again you know it means probably all day you will be crunching numbers on excel and then you know reporting it so you will probably get bored at the end of the day that's why i said it's important to take a generalist approach 
learn everything learn creativity also learn analysis also and learn problem solving and logic also that is when you will find yourself in a very fulfilling role otherwise if you go to a very specific or a niche field for two years you will find say yes i am an expert in it but the third year you will find yourself locked in a field with no growth prospective growth options so a generalist approach is always more beneficial than a specialist approach now that we are living in an era where 650 million people and more are adding up so there is no way to go back or you know take the old way got it i think uh, a slightly uh, parallel uh, you know area of expertise uh, shubhdeep has a question right how web design is important for a digital marketer super super uh, super important see i'll i'll give you i'll give you a very uh, practical answer to this there are two aspects of digital marketing two very very core and very essential aspects one is how do people engage with your brand through visual mediums for example videos creatives banners copies scripts sales copies ads all these things see that is that comes under the creative domain another domain is how do people engage with your web properties and as a result of that how are you able to generate revenue now if your if let's say your videos are superb you have you have created exceptional content you are getting a lot of views you are driving a lot of traffic onto your website people really trust you people really want to buy your products but the moment they land on your website payment gateway is not working the color scheme is something which really you know starts bugging people there is no no right amount of text written on the website uh, people are scared of making payment on your website people are not able to find exactly what they're looking on your website the ui or the user experience is not up to the mark they have to scroll a lot they have to find manually things website doesn't load up very fast you know there are tons and tons of problem on your back end so your front end is your video your identity your photos your creatives your banners your back end is your web property now if your back end is not properly optimized or if your back end is not properly developed you will get zero revenue zero what's the point of making videos if you're not able to earn money out of it websites are the tools and modes through which you earn money and any kind of uh, you know i would say cutting corners when it comes to making websites actually costs business much more money than they generate through content marketing or social media or whatever so extremely important field uh, i would say there is then uh, acute shortage of talented web developers because there are web developers just about everywhere we have people doing mca and btech Uh, they uh, in their computer science curriculum they learn web development but they don't know how to properly visualize the brand identity how to make websites that pleases people they don't know about all this so there is an acute shortage of talented people but this space in general if you're talking if you are if you're not that talented it's very crowded it's like engineering because there is a web development company in any nook and corner of the country main abhi niche jaunga na mujhe do web developer mil jayenge that's how it is but, but uh, dheeraj uh, if i break it up into two parts right this is uh, a question even i have when you i want to put up a, a nice website as part of your brand yeah. or for your client uh, i i think of it as two components one is the underlying tech the coding required to create yeah. that uh, property and the second is the the ui and the ui user experience on it right from a digital marketer's perspective do, does he need to know both aspects or no can he yeah that's my question there no he from a digital marketing aspect if you know coding it's a plus but it's not a requirement as such but if you if you're able to give creative briefs to yeah. website developers if you're able to give them an exact prototype of what is it that you want to create if you're able to communicate that kind of user experience into words or on paper that is the skill you want to have because for coding there are websites like fiverr.com uh, freelancer.com tons and tons of elancing freelancing websites where you will find very affordable web development freelancers that will help you to visual you know actually execute that visualization into an actual product so should you learn coding absolutely not should you learn how to read websites how to find 
you know uh, creative elements in the website should you know how a user is actually experiencing the website should you know more about design typography layout color schemes different technologies that uh, you know uh, help create websites easily definitely yes but should you learn coding no right that is no point in learning coding and my follow up to that is uh, at least i have noticed as an entrepreneur that there are a lot of these Uh, no code kind of softwares that come yes. out, right? Yes. Where if I understand the first aspect of what I want on the UI UX, and as a marketer, I can myself start pulling together these websites in a fairly short period of time. Absolutely, right? Yeah, got it. Uh, cool. Uh, Ashutosh has a question. I have zero experience in digital marketing. Where will I see myself in upcoming years? Okay, it's slightly open ended, but Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it from two perspectives. Perspective number one, you have zero experience in digital marketing, but you want to learn it. Okay, now when I say uh, learning it, there is just one thing that comes into your mind: course. Karlo. See, course is important because kitab nahi khologe to pata nahi chalega what exactly is there. But ninety nine point nine percent people they do courses, then they do nothing about it. That's the problem. that's that's the that's the whole problem that we are faced with that is why we are you know that that is why we have come up with antwork which kind of addresses this deep rooted problem wherein you are not just learning the things that are given to you on paper but actually looking at what is happening behind the scenes what led to what the problem solving skills app is absent from virtually all the courses they don't teach you how to solve problems they give you like a platter in which you have to you can just see that okay this is how these things work but they don't tell you what led for a thing to work and become successful at it see that's that's the whole problem so if you there i'll give you two options if you want to learn digital marketing and if you have some money to invest and to our programs are pretty much perfect for you if you don't have money if you say that no i don't want to spend too much money in learning digital marketing then the only way that you can learn it is by is through doing it how can you do it see it takes zero it 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 involves zero rupees to create a video on youtube zero rupees to write a post on linkedin zero rupees to create a banner on facebook most of the time if you're if you're able to create content engage people get feedback work on the feedback and then create better content and then get more people my friend you have mastered the art of digital marketing that is the entire essence of digital marketing digital marketing means turning strangers into loyal fans that's what it is that's what it is ultimately why are you learning this skill because you want to sell stuff there is no point in learning learning seo if you are not selling stuff there is no point in learning ppc if you are not selling stuff there is no point in learning how to blog if there are if there is nobody who can come to your blog get inspired take action in the process give you money there is no point in learning these skills so either you can join this program which where we will tell you exactly what you will get in this program it involves a little bit of investment but very easy investment and it won't cost you a huge chunk of your salary second if you want to go the hard route you have to do it the way youtube creators have done it constantly create uh, content consume all the free courses that you have on the internet every single video just watch it as much as you can there are a lot of free stuff available on udemy also skillshare also youtube also uh other other people have created 6 hours 7 hours worth of content and then decide your uh you know way forward if you are good with words then it's a good idea to invest your time in blogging or linkedin or articles or quora if you feel that you can go beyond words you have a natural or innate ability to influence people you are not very shy on camera or you think that you know you can invest your time on camera go on youtube go on youtube and start creating content on youtube if you think that you can do both then do then do both this is what will differentiate you from 90% of other candidates people who can write also people who can record videos also and then once you start creating content the beauty of digital marketing is you start getting feedback you will understand i think there was one person who was who was asking that how do i find my niche simple start 
when you start when people respond if they like the video good niche if they don't like the video bad niche go do something else it's a continuously evolving process you see i don't have anything any kind of framework that i can give you on paper ki ye kar lo to niche mil jayegi na aisa hota to fir main aaj bahut bada marketer hota i fill up kotler ke bagal mein baitha hota it's not how it works it it works when you start then you get some feedback you work on that feedback then you get more feedback then you get feedback and then over a period of time you say that okay this is how i started and this is where i have come it doesn't work by reading books it doesn't work by watching videos it doesn't work by watching big full length feature movies or documentaries on digital marketing it only works when you work no other way and and it's an iterative process right it's an iterative it's not process like absolutely you will not get your answer on day one you will have to work hard at it you try different things you see what others are doing and try it yourself multiple things and you can try see most of the time people are also you know people are very scared that uh, you know my mother when i when i asked her one day i said mummy aap bhi youtube channel kholo na kehti nahi nahi uske liye to bahut sochna padega lighting achhi karni padegi i will have to think about exactly what i want to we plan too much Correct. too much planning and when you plan too much you never execute digital marketing is 100% execution 100% i am not saying 0% planning you plan definitely you plan but you cannot plan your first piece of content wo nariyal phodna hai to nariyal phodna hai phodna hi padega and you have to be besharam a lot of people they are very you know uh, they are very shy what will people say what will my boss say what will my girlfriend say what will my mother say mat dikhao na block kar do i have blocked people who who are giving me very negative feedback go on block them but if you if you are not creating content or if you are not you know giving some kind of contribution on any social media platform because you feel that people are going to comment on it guys it's it's matlab you are creating content in public domain people are always going to comment in one of my videos i got 17000 18000 views very shabby video i made i got uh, uh, 40% negative feedback i did not delete them some people were excessively toxic so i deleted them but the, those negative comments don't bother me in fact any kind of engagement on social media is good engagement it actually increases the reach of your video so no matter if you're getting good comments or bad comments i mean dhinchak puja guys 3 crore views what nonsense 90% dislikes still she is famous still she was able to get into big boss usko to sharam nahi aayi humko sharam kyu aa rahi hai so that is one another very major concern which stops people pulls people away and they want to get into extreme intricate planning extreme strategizing you won't be able to do that in your first very first phase of digital marketing it just doesn't work that way record create content get feedback improve and when you have some data then you plan you don't plan without data you need some data got it uh, i think uh, dheeraj what we should do now the next section we should uh, focus on you know for folks because there's quite a lot of questions on the chat box which is asking about how do i go about preparing for this sure yeah. some people are asking about uh, should i do an online course right now because of pandemic is that a better way to go it some people are asking should i do an internship and so right. on right so yeah. how, in your mind what are some things you would look at when somebody wants to upskill themselves in this domain right what should they focus on okay first of all if anybody tells you that they are an expert let's say i am an expert in ppc i am an expert in seo if they if they are saying it from their own mouth if somebody is introducing them it's fine if they are admitting it from their own mouth ki i am an expert don't trust that person because that person is now uh, does not want to learn anything new in their field so what so how do you how should you proceed learn from people who have who are already working for big companies because these people are making big decisions they know exactly what kind of problems that they are faced on a regular basis and slightest of their actions will lead to a considerable impact on the revenue like for example on antwork we have experts from netflix from google from facebook from all these big companies and from unilever from puma these people i can't tell you i can't tell you how much stress they go through every day navigating through their job because they are not dealing in small 50000 rupees 1 lakh rupees campaigns their per day spends are 10 lakh 15 lakh 25 lakh per day 
So you can imagine the amount of work, analysis, research, uh, problem solving, critical thinking, all these things that they have to do just to survive in their job. So it is much better to learn from people who have who are actually solving real world problems than people who are proclaiming on YouTube that I'm an expert. Because the moment somebody admits that they are an expert, it means that they are not going to invest more time in learning. Because Facebook ads, uh, there was one very critical change that happened on Facebook ads, wherein uh, all the events that were being passed on to iOS 14 stopped. I asked one so-called Facebook expert, I said, how are you going to manage it? It said, what is that? I don't even know that. He's an expert. He calls himself an expert. So stop trusting these people. Stop trusting people on YouTube and all these, you know, because they want to sell you courses worth 500 rupees, 600 rupees, because they know the importance of scale. They understand that if I tell you a little bit, then they will buy it. They exploit this knowledge gap that you have. But at the end of the day, that 500 rupees investment, 1000 rupees investment is not going to give you any insightful knowledge. You're looking at insights here, not facts. Facts are available in abundance. You go to YouTube, you'll find six hour courses, eight hour courses. Why do you want to spend 500 rupees and watch the same thing again? You are filling pockets for people who understand that, you know, how to hit you emotionally. So one of the ways. Uh, Antwerp is solving this problem is by creating an experience, experiential program. You only learn practical problems. First, we orient you through all the important fundamentals of digital marketing from a very basic level, gradually progress it to an intermediate level. And by the time you come at intermediate levels, you would have already solved two to three assignments. By the way, these are all real assignments coming from real companies, real people. And they will be giving you certain problems, which will force you to think and come up with solutions that these guys themselves can use in their problems. Like for example, if you join my island, my, I will be teaching you digital marketing strategy. I will be giving you a real problem from my existing challenge, from my existing company. What exactly am I faced with? I will give you all the required knowledge and the fundamentals and all those things. But then I will pressurize you. I will kind of force you that, okay, now that I have oriented you with the fundamentals of strategist of strategy. How will you apply your own brain, apply your own knowledge, apply your own research, apply your own problem solving skills to tackle this problem and what output or what kind of outcomes are you expecting by implementing this? So you will, so like, like my Island, you will have 16, I think 13 other islands where you will be forced to solve problems. By the way, when I say forced, I mean it in a very positive way, not in a negative way, because most of the courses that you currently do online, forget about forcing. They don't even give you assignments. So forget about even forcing. So here, if you don't complete your task, you can't move ahead. And the task will be based on a real life problem. You will have to actually use your brain based on that. You will also be able to create an entire portfolio for every module which you can then send to your recruiters. Your recruiters can actually look at it, check your problem solving skills, understand what made you in a look at a particular solution and what did that solution, you know, what kind of outcome could that solution create? So that's what uh, the experiential program structure is about. It's not like your regular typical course. It's not like some Udemy ka would have a cut copy paste program from 2014. It's not like a YouTube video telling you that 56,000 rupees per month. Kama sakte ho. It's all, it's, it's like a practical notebook. It's like a practical, complete practical framework. You learn when you do it. And that's when you learn the best, not when you read, not when you watch videos, not when you, you know, do all those things, which involve zero sort of involvement practically. Very well said, Dheeraj. I think this, this uh, program for folks, uh, on the call today, right, has been designed by talking to people like Dheeraj, you know, because they have gone through this journey, whether it is Dheeraj or whether it is Venkat who came last week, who works at Mo Engage, or Gursimran who works at Geo uh, Savan. We had a conversation with them, say, how can we make a program which will allow this next generation of digital marketers to succeed from day one, right? And the key things that came into the... Uh, Design was, okay, it needs to come from working professionals because they have seen the challenges. Second is, they, it needs to be a live interactive class kind of a module as opposed to recorded videos. And third is, there has to be a very, very strong emphasis on 
you know, real world projects that you guys get your hands dirty on. So based on these three underlying principles, what we have created the 16 week program, like Viraj said, if you guys have the money and you have the uh, made up your mind to get into digital marketing, definitely check out this program. There is a link on the sheet. I also put it on the chat box. Uh, sign up and we will definitely get in touch with you and give you a lot more details. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Dheeraj, let's continue with your Q&A, man. Uh, before we do that, guys, one quick poll just to, uh, you know, uh, get everybody up again, uh, you know, um, uh, hopefully not many people have gone to sleep. So here's the last poll of the day coming up. Uh, what percentage of Facebook's revenue comes from mobile advertising? Alan, we will take up your question. Be patient, man. All right, guys. Four more seconds. All right. Let's see the results. Okay. 41% are saying 60% of the revenue comes from mobile for Facebook and another 40% are saying 90 plus. So guys, the answer is 90 plus and Facebook made this transition or at least uh, focus into mobile ads very soon in the game. And they got a lot of flack at that time. I don't know Deeraj, whether you are aware of that. I was in the U S when they made this decision, uh, the stock price got a big hit, but then it was a, a brilliant move because, I think most of Facebook consumption is now through mobile. Online, mobile phones, yes. Right, cool. Uh, let's get to some more questions, Iraj. I think we have a few more minutes, right? Uh, yeah. So uh, Alan has a very tactical question. I think this could be taken further offline, but uh, he's basically trying to run FB campaigns and his ad has got rejected multiple times because of community guidelines. Um, and he feels it was rejected by automated bots, um, but it's not, he's tried to reach out to the FB customer support. He wants the guidance to how to even reach to the FB customer support executives. Okay, Alan, a uh, little bit into your face. See, uh, I don't want to demotivate you, but you know, small advertisers, like probably people who are just starting out for the first time, there are some glitches on Facebook, which prevent, you know, which prevent uh, people like us to advertise. Okay. I, that's number one. So you must have been a target of that. And there is absolutely nothing that you can do instead of just creating a new account, new credit card and going live because Facebook customer support is available. The live chat support is available only to advertisers who have been advertising for at least five years. Like there is wow. no other way to contact them. Okay. That is one of the downsides of Facebook advertising also, but there are ways to tackle this problem. Uh, first look at the reason why they have banned your account in most cases, they give you a reason. My guess is you must have seen a video on YouTube where they were trying to tell you that, Hey, advertise this affiliate link. You must have gone ahead and advertise that affiliate link. Very rookie mistake. People do that all the time. I've done it twice. Got my account banned with no scope for, you know, unlocking it. So I've, I've, I've fell into the same trap. Any kind of affiliate link, if you put directly on Facebook, Facebook has a zero tolerance policy. They will just ban your ad account. They will ban your payment method. If you argue with them too much, if you keep sending them messages, they will ban your personal profile also. <laughs> so there is no tolerance on affiliate sharing of direct affiliate links. Any kind of affiliate link, if you share on uh, Facebook ad, if you try to run it, they will, uh, you know, probably lock you out. Other way, other thing is uh, sometimes. And in fact, many times they block advertisers for wrong reasons. And in this case, uh, you can, uh, you know, go to their, uh, whatever conventional ways of reaching out to them, community, custom Facebook customer support. They have one link where you can, uh, which, which says support inbox, write a query on support inbox, see if they come back to you, but it will take good one month. If you can wait one month, very good. If you cannot wait simple solution create a new Facebook account or use your friend's Facebook account or use somebody else's Facebook account and do not repeat the mistake. If any, 
uh, that you have done last time also if you're if you're on mastercard or if you're on visa uh, from india there are some additional compliances that have been introduced on, as on april 24th which involve uh, another set of authentic authentication for auto payments so you will have to speak to your bank to allow those auto payments to pass through otherwise uh, that is also one of the reasons why your ads are not working or why your facebook is not allowing you to run ads so and some, this happened uh, this last week is it or april is it april 24 this decision was taken oh, now man. they have to yeah. i should have talked to you because my both my accounts auto payment got stopped <laughs> yeah so that that happened that happened so you will have to talk to your bank and you will have to kind of uh, you know make some arrangements wherein facebook can freely access your account without any additional authentication so some glitches my friend it happens for rookie advertisers new advertisers it does happen it has happened with me a lot of times the best you can do right now is work on from a different account because there is actually no way of locking yourself out from this uncomfortable situation it doesn't happen to a lot of people but it still uh, matlab if you if it happens with you i mean it's purely luck and my a lot of my at least six of my accounts have been banned for various reasons i don't even know right now so facebook facebook ecosystem is still developing in india there are some problems and uh, facebook is looking into it they are creating a dedicated uh, you know uh, call center from uh, delhi and mumbai they have been hiring a lot of people from india to look into matters like these but till we have those things in place there is nothing we can do except to create a new account and repeat the process all over again got it otherwise you'll just be wasting time so uh we have one question from nausheen i am a content writer by profession and aspire to learn the art of digital marketing uh, although i'm trying to dive into graphic design as well i am wondering does a digital marketer have to necessarily ace at everything that is to marketing including website development graphic design email marketing etc okay uh no see when so i'll i'll give you a very honest version of this answer it depends on you also uh, to a lot of extent it depends on you also like for example when i worked in a digital marketing agency brand b and vigo quantify and a lot of freelance clients when you are faced with a problem where you don't have any resource available you're kind of forced to learn how to do that things and go go and look at things which are outside your comfort zone okay and that is where the best kind of learning happens but not all people are comfortable learning coding or comfortable learning things that you know are a little bit are usually very difficult to learn if you if you can learn it's always a plus if you can't learn as i said coding is not mandatory web development is not mandatory uh running any kind of things which involve coding or technical stuff or you know uh, going beyond your existing qualifications not really mandatory but what are the skills which are mandatory copywriting content writing content creation visualization creativity these are absolutely mandatory and they will challenge you they will force you to move out of your comfort zone and uh, the only way that you can learn it is to first join a program like antwork or if you're lucky join internships from a digital marketing agency or if you're lucky get a job there and work for at least 2 years when you're working in that high paced kind of environment when you're working with clients who don't have that much of money to afford and spend on different tools and things the company or the agency expects you to come up with solutions and that's when you know you learn all those things which you're talking of right now which you probably are facing a lot of difficulties with that's what my right. opinion is uh, on this uh last few questions uh iraj uh, abhishek is asking uh, hello sir my question is i have completed 3 months internship in digital marketing and i'm doing a job in an it company as a content writer but i'm getting bored now my okay. interest is in designing banners campaigns and lead generation but i'm confused kindly please guide me okay one of the best things that you can learn right now is creating content on youtube facebook ads and youtube ads simple why am i saying this because number one they're cheap they're very cheap number two they're effective they bring in a lot of people who will engage with you and number three as i've been saying from the very beginning if you don't find work you become the work you are the brand you become the company 
you make your own channel you you create content you create videos you create banners for yourself anything that you are passionate about it could be cooking it could be art it could be music it could be anything whatever moves you whatever you feel that you can do all day and you want to share it with the world you feel that something is going to help somebody's either solve a problem or entertain them or challenge them or evoke any kind of emotion my friend you become the brand and once you do that once you have some videos once you have some posts learn youtube ads learn facebook ads very cheap very very cheap and when you actually launch an ad for let's say even 500 rupees or let's say even 1000 rupees in a month time saying dead cheap 500 1000 rupees per month you will get hundreds of viewers you will get hundreds of people who watched your content some will write good comments some will write bad comments that is when you will understand in its entirety that okay if i'm built for this thing or not whether i i truly enjoy working it or not because expecting someone to give you work with just 3 months of experience not going to happen expecting someone to come up you come up with like, hey why don't you manage my ad account when you don't have experience is not going to happen so why don't you first work on your own brand launch ads for yourself get that word out and who knows one day you might get lucky leads start coming up to you instead of you running to them and then when that happens now this is the best place to be because outgoing outbound calls cold calls cold references cold networking attending workshops is a tiring process but when you when people look at your content they like it they love it they feel that oh this guy is talking really well let me go ahead and talk to him as i told you they are in a position of trust converting them getting them on board is a piece of cake much simple than the regular old fashioned business development process that, that we follow so try try that uh, create your own brand build your own personal brand create content on linkedin social media youtube whatever and whatever you do you do it for yourself not for anybody else and then you will understand where your core expertise lies otherwise right now getting a job without any kind of experience is i i find it to be extremely challenging this is the best that you can do right now uh on that right swaraj has a question uh, i think uh, basically his question is should i do an online digital marketing course now or should i wait for the uh, covid situation to ease so that he can this go is, to an offline institute this is the best time to learn digital marketing best time there has never been a better time than now best time why everybody sitting at everybody wants to buy stuff everybody is bored of sitting at home everybody is praying for their life they feel that if they go out they will die it's such a horrible situation out there right now is the time to learn digital marketing uh, you know create something for yourself or for the company that you wish to work for because the entire world is sitting on their mobile phones which is your market why do you want to learn digital marketing offline when you can learn it from your home and then later contract a disease at the center and when do you think this disease will get over i don't think it's going anywhere anywhere below 2 years this is going to stay with us for long we are a population of 1.2 billion how much time do you think it will take to inoculate so if you want to waste that opportunity by waiting and then uh, you know going to a center i don't think that is a very wise thing to do it's digital marketing the entire premise is uh, working digitally and you are saying i want to work offline i see no point in doing that if it if you have to learn digital marketing do it the digital way na isn't that better than uh, risking yourself in a center and then later regretting it got it uh, last couple of questions uh, dheeraj uh, dhananjay wants to know how to get into the ppc domain <clears throat> I think I've already answered it. Brand yourself, create campaigns for yourself first. If you don't do it, if you see, no matter which courses you do, which no matter which things, uh, what kind of professional programs you get into, any kind of academic or non-academic learning programs, that is unlikely to help you too much if you don't practically apply it in your own brand, in your own self. That's number one. Number two. if you if you really want to if you have the time if you have the energy if you have the resources uh why not uh, 
apply for digital marketing internships wherein the most of the time they teach you ppc only ppc is a very big part of digital marketing internships because that is bring that is what brings tons and tons of results in a short span of time so my advice uh, do as many internships as possible in ppc uh, go to linkedin find people who are uh, looking for ppc uh, interns otherwise the best way complete a course like antwork or whatever whatever course you do just learn it and then apply it in your own profile i'm giving you a very practical approach to this problem because otherwise i have seen people wasting 2 months 3 months 4 months 5 months 6 months they wait for opportunity when you need to create that opportunity for yourself first and i have told you from the very beginning if you don't work if you don't practically apply whatever letter that you are learning uh no matter how many marks you get in any course no matter what is your experience with digital marketing you are you will always stay in a very stagnated state of growth and that is a very uncomfortable position to be got it last two questions uh, dheeraj uh chanket is already practicing some of what you already been preaching so far so he wants to learn and earn and he's working on his own platforms he wants to promote other businesses and brands and the main focus is social media marketing how should he think about monetizing this one second so can you repeat the question sorry sanket is already working on his own platforms and focusing on social media marketing and he wants uh-huh. to promote other businesses and brands okay so he wants to understand how should he monetize that okay uh anket think about this uh let us say i am a businessman and i am looking for people who can help me scale up my digital or whatever digital presence number one step to get any kind of opportunity or way is to first think like what position a business is in right now let's say if you are if you are talking about a very small business let's say uh, import export business or let's say uh, a, a small e-commerce store okay and they have just recently launched and they have the money they have but they don't have the resources so what kind of keywords would they be looking for what kind of problems would they be searching for what kind of thoughts will they have in their mind right and when you step into their shoes and when you start creating your profile in a way which actually targets those people so i have seen some people uh, on linkedin where they say that uh, i help coaches get uh, hundreds of students in one month through digital marketing now the niche is very clear they know that who who these who, who they want to target and then they create content on linkedin that are exclusively focused on these people a few months roll by and they start getting leads from linkedin itself so first of all you cannot expect the entire population to be your target market it doesn't work that way first you ask yourself which company is my ideal client which industry is my ideal client where do i want to utilize my skills in and based on that you have to create a profile on linkedin or you have to create a profile on fiverr or on whatever these freelancing platforms that exclusively targets these people use the same kind of language use the same kind of problems use the same kind of keywords create content that these people will find useful be patient but be consistent and Uh, i can give you another approach to this let's say you are very consistent in creating this content you are very consistent in creating your profile and you are getting some good results good engagement but you are not getting leads now that you are in a position to actually pitch you have a lot of content on your social media channels you have a lot of numbers to show you have a lot of you know different different things that you can talk about i can assure you that anywhere you connect the person is more likely to stay connected with you and in fact ask you hey i saw your profile it's good and i was also looking out for a person like this i really like your content would you like to help me can we go on a consult and can we go on a 15 minutes call and that is the place where you want to be thinking about hey i know this stuff i want to reach out to people and then you start cold calling them cold emailing them sending requests on linkedin when you don't have anything on your profile when you don't have any content no videos no proper profile summary no experience nothing and expecting people to come and give you work doesn't happen that way my friend you ask yourself would i give work to somebody like you would i give 
would i give work to somebody like myself in my current state 99% of the times that answer will be no so you know how to start you just need to start get into that position of expertise get into that position of authority and then network with people who can become your clients it takes one year it takes six months i don't know how much time it takes but it takes time it doesn't work overnight it doesn't work in one week or two weeks it's a consistent process and it works got it last question so i think priya has a follow up question i think so i think in the earlier part of the uh, discussion dheeraj we had said that as a digital marketer of experience in you know electrical engineering or so on will not actually have too much value right uh, mm-hmm. so her question is because she is actively thinking of moving into digital marketing and if you are saying that it won't help her much in job and career growth so should she stop thinking about making this transition or what should it what should she do understand what your goals are if your goal is just to get a job and no matter how hard you try you are not able to get a job ask yourself did the no- the knowledge that i acquired did it go waste most of the time you will say no it it did not go waste we think like this when we feel that whatever knowledge that we have acquired has gone waste and that is when we uh, hesitate to take the plunge or when we when we when we kind of you know hesitate to transition from one role to another right so first of all you have to do this introspection sort of exercise and you have to really ask the knowledge that ha- i have acquired is it sufficient to work on an actual use case many times you will say no okay then you ask what else can i do so one prospective solution to this is i can work for some people for free everybody likes free right that's that's the biggest that's the biggest way you can get that kind of experience are you ready to take that risk uh if the answer is no because my family is dependent on me and i have to work to get money and to feed them then stop and then postpone this plan to a time where you have enough savings to make the transition if you don't have enough savings and you are taking this risk it's a big risk so you need to have a minimum amount of practical experience at least working on a real brand solving a real problem producing a real result then positioning yourself as a thought leader on linkedin then maybe go one step forward and position yourself as an expert on youtube and once you have an audience base once you have a, a fan following or once you have networks and connections and people who believe in your skill who trust that you can get the job done make the plunge making the plunge when you don't have resources when you don't have money you're relying people are other people are relying on your savings and you want to take this risk then it it can work either way you can become successful or you can fail it can all go tumble it can all go tumbling down so whatever you do uh, introspect ask yourself this question get enough experience get into that stage and then make the jump otherwise if you have the time if you have the money if people are not dependent on you take the jump as soon as possible perfect i think that's a a, a good way to uh, come to a close on this session uh, guys uh, i have seen only 50% of you guys have taken the feedback poll please just take a few seconds to finish the poll it will help us make the future sessions upcoming sessions uh, you know bake in your feedback and make them better so request you all to take the poll uh, in the meanwhile uh, dheeraj wonderful session we had a lot of questions today i think a lot of insightful answers from you extremely grateful for you to come back on the session thank you thank you and uh, and pre- folks please put a thumbs up or a thanks for dheeraj on the chat box and i think he deserves a uh, you know a big applause for taking out a weekend time uh, more than an hour we went mo- way beyond the allotted time so let's thank him please and uh, we will have uh, the next round of sessions we have two interesting sessions coming up one is on friday by bhavya patak who's a product marketing manager at color tokens she will be talking about the impact, you know the you need for brand and storytelling in all your campaigns and we have one from deepashi das coming on saturday uh, she works at netflix and she will be talking on the evolution of content marketing and how you should tap into the uh new elements of content marketing whether it's memes or polls and so on so be sure to sign up 
and uh, we will see you next week again uh, in the meanwhile uh, have a good weekend uh, to everybody on the call and thanks again the uh, dheeraj for the time no problem looking forward to one more <laughs> yes definitely we'll have it <laughs> all right guys and uh, for folks who are interested on the uh, 16 week program it's starting in the end of may do sign up for the link uh, on the link in the chat box definitely it will be worth it if you can see the quality of experts you are bringing on the platform so uh, if you are serious about a career in digital marketing you want to get yourself up skilled from the best experts definitely check out and walk and sign up all right guys thank you have a good sunday all right bye guys thank you so much